Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be ranking the top six Mutt Hero players that you should be taking as your free 97. So, as you guys do know, you are eligible to obtain a free 97 Mutt Hero player. I will briefly go over that in this video so you guys can see how that's done. Go over how you get it. Go over where you claim it. And of course, guys, these are not Nats, so you actually can sell it. So quick disclaimer before we get into the video. Remember, if you actually can't start any of these players or you just like getting coins or sniping or, you know, investing. I know there's people who literally play just for that reason, which is fine. Just take the I would go find the most expensive one at that time, sell it, make some coins that way. But if you do plan to keep it. These are going to be the top six ones that I'd recommend taking now. There's a few there's a few uh, tiers on my list. I'll get over all that. But first, before we get into today's video, guys, if you are into the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that on bell boys, come join the family, give this video a big thumbs up as always, and again guys, liking and commenting is so important for the channel, so always like, comment down below, let me know which money hero player you have either taken or plan to take before we get into this video and see if I uh, can change your mind a little bit, but that's about it, uh, if you guys need coins, head on over to Mutt Coin Bank down below guys, super cheap coins, make sure to use code Poodle for the additional discount at checkout, yeah, that's it, let's get into this, so uh, this is the milestone right here, Mutt Heroes, you come down here, time to step into the big league, so Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3. If you do any of these guys, you will be claiming your free players. Now, right here it says, complete all three Tier 1 activities um, to get a 93 overall Mud Hero Fantasy Pack. So you do all these, and you do get a free 93. Then Tier 2, you unlock that. Do all these, and you get 95. And then you do all these, and you get another 95. And now you have enough players to go ahead and get your Mud Hero. Yes, it could take some time, guys, but this stuff really won't take that long if you guys are playing, you know, Madden per week, you know. It really won't be that. It won't be crazy. It was not like something like you could time, like, oh, you know, two, three hours worth of solos. It could, it's going to take much longer than that. But again, it's not something that, like, you know, solos are just boring because you have to go play solos. You can do all this playing online. Go play weekendly. Go play seasons. You'll get all this casually while playing. It's something you don't have to grind out for. Maybe the last one you want to grind a little bit more, like the yards. It's just taking too long. Go into solo, just throw, you know, 99 yard passes. But once you get all that, you will have enough players to go get your 97. Now, the set will not give it to you here. You actually have to go over to the team. Uh, sorry. One more over sets and come on over to mutt hero so you can go ahead and put it in so the masters 21 uh, master sets here scroll all the way down as you guys can see this is all of them you can get any player from this list so give you a reference point the first one here lamar jackson so you get the free 95 free 95 free 93 you toss them in right here let's see what value that's looking like right now a 95 goes to about 140k i'll average it out um, just about right there so it'll cost 280 for these plus whatever this costs so that's going to be about 350k so you're getting a free 350k player which is actually pretty good value and of course you can power them up and chem them up to probably 99 give or take depending on the chems you use on your team so i'm going over the top six players to be taking I'm very excited let's get into this guys this video it's a fun video too you get to talk about some players go over some stats go over some reasoning a little bit more lighthearted. but let's start with number six so let's go over to program and mutt heroes now number six is going to be one of those guys that it's it's this guy is very specific if you happen to not if you happen to have a god squad right when you have a god squad and your team's maxed out you never want to take a player that's replaceable you want to go for a player that you can lock into your team whether or not it's a pointless player but it's lockable so to give you an instance my number six player on this list is going to be a kicker mason crosby he goes for 450k right now really expensive you can either sell him or his kick power is in 96 you will have a end game top tier kicker for the rest of the year now a lot of people with god squads may have a god squad but they don't invest in their kicker right or sometimes even linemen because it's just an expense. It's, it's a heavy expense. It's not an exciting pick, right? It's not. It's not exciting to get a kicker because you're not going to be using him that often. And if you do use him, it's still a kicker, right? You don't get to throw passes to him or run the ball with him or pass the ball with him. Intercept, user him, right? But again, if you have a maxed out God Squad, 98 overall, like you really just can't upgrade anywhere. And you don't see where these players might fit. Take the kicker. A lot of more, more promos will come out. Easter, golden ticket, everything else, right? You can keep upgrading your team, but the kicker can stay there, right? He might be the most end game card on this list, quite honestly. So I didn't mean to back out there, but so he's going to be my number six player. So that's pretty self-explanatory. And another guy that kind of falls into the Mason Crosby uh, format, except you actually will be able to use him. I would say a lot more than Mason Crosby. So I actually would believe that he would fit in a little bit even better than a Mason Crosby. So the next on the list is going to be actually a left tackle, which I believe is the best lineman for um, from this promo. And that's Tyron Smith. Tyron Smith is, again, 450, 470K, really good lineman. And again, he's, he can be powered up, so he will get to 98 overall, probably 99 chemmed up as well. He will have 
powered up and chemed up a 95 strength 97 awareness 97 98 pass block 98 pass block power 98 pass block finesse 98 run block 97 run block power and 97 run block finesse put zone run on him he probably ends up 99 just about everywhere on his you know uh run blocking he's gonna be great he's gonna be a great lineman guys and again a left tackle a staple of the line the blind side you got you got to keep your quarterback upright from that side and again it's one of those guys like again easter promo can come out golden tickets all these guys I promise you the left tackle upgrade won't be necessary. He will get the job done for the rest of the year. You really won't have to worry about upgrading him. And he actually is pretty fast. 72 speed, 82 excel as well. He'll be an end game left tackle. We don't have to worry about him the rest of the year. So again, a solid pick. Now, the next guy. There's a guy that actually has been routinely pretty good in mud. He's typically a good card. And they gave him an even better card right now. There we go. Brian Burns. I thought he was, I thought he was labeled as an outside linebacker typically. I could be wrong. 561k guys if you can get these done pretty fast you could probably make a pretty good profit if you get these done super fast maybe disregard the list and just go ahead and make your profit and then buy your player from my list later on brian burns though 561k right end speed rusher he cannot be powered up which is why he's been higher on this list but he will get 99 finesse move as long as you know right 99 finesse move with 92 speed 94 excel 95 blocks 96 tackle yes there will be better ends at some point but you're not going to get much you're not going to get much better than a 99 finesse move, right? You can't even get better than that. But the only thing better would be a guy with 99 finesse move with 99 block shed. But Brian Burns is up there. Going to be a player that could last a while on your team. You could always move him around. Left end, outside linebacker, wherever you want to put him. But now these top three are pretty much my, my, my locks. These are the ones that I'm really focusing on now. This guy here, Xavier Rhodes, 480K, super solid for a few reasons. Let's start with this one. He's six foot one, Great height. 95 speed and can be powered up. So that means 96 speed plus sprinter. He gets 98 speed. Pretty much end game right there, right? That plus one speed is good, but it's not it's not the end of the world, right? He'll have 98 speed plus 96 excel. Now what's important here? He'll have 98 speed with 99 play rec, 99 man, 99 zone, and 99 press. That's Deion Sanders territory. Again, the agility is not as great, but the jumping, 97 jumping as well. And it gets even better, guys. He's not just like a one and done cornerback. Like his catching the 79 powered up and chemed up. Most cornerbacks that are that great, you're like, oh, we well, can't catch it or anything else. So Deion's way better, right? Great catching as well. He can jump, he can catch, and he has height, and it gets better. It's changed directions a little bit on the lower side. I would have preferred that to have been, been higher, but it will be an 88 powered up and chemed up and 79 spec catch powered up. Again, really good. And this is where it gets good. Hip power. He has an 87 hip power. So he's kind of like, if you, if you like dumb down Night Train Lane a little bit on strength and height, but then gave him a little bit more um, coverage and speed and maybe some catch, you know what I mean? Not catching. He's kind of like a dumbed down Night Train Lane that you can get for uh, free. So I would definitely take a look at Xavier Rhodes. This is one of his better cards he's had in quite a while. Next, guys, Lamar Jackson. Now, if this was Madden 20 and not Madden 21, it's probably the best quarterback in the game, but it is not. But Lamar Jackson, all you got to say here, right? Here, here's a, here's, I'll, I'll give you, I'll start with the bad news, right? He's got the slowest release in the game. It, it, it's just something you got to deal with. One of the slowest releases in the game. He typically gets his passes off pretty slow. And he will not get, you know, he's not a field general. He may not get hot raw mass or any of that stuff. But here are the key points. Here are the, here are the positives. He will get 99 speed with sprinter. He will get 99 throw power. He'll have all the throwing thresholds. He'll have throw on the run max. He's six foot two. He's got 97 excel. He'll have 99 agility. Oh, sorry, 96 agility. He will have close to 99 change of direction. He will have 99 ball carry vision. He may get 99 juke depending on the chems you use. He may get 90 carrying depending on the chems you use. He will have an 89 or plus break tackle. He will probably have a 99 to 98 break sack. He's going to be the most dynamic quarterback in the game. He's the best dual threat in the game. So you really can't discount the fact that you can get that for free. And then finally, guys, for the final guy, which I think is the best one on the list, is Bradley Chubb. Bradley Chubb's insane. Again, a few reasons. First, powered up. He can get powered up. So that's already, that's already a big thing. If you can get powered up, you're on the list, right? He will have 94 speed with sprinter. 94 speed at outside linebacker. Crazy fast. 94 excel. Crazy fast. 94 strength. Here's where it gets good. Tackle. 98. Play rec, 98. Block shed, 98. Power move, 98. Finesse with, with uh, cams, finesse move, 99. So he'll have a 99 finesse move and a 98 block shed, as well as 94 speed. So he's faster than Brian Burns, I believe. Or, no, maybe the same. Oh, yeah, faster because Brian Burns can't get sprinter. So he's faster. He's taller. In case you put him out in the zone real quick. He is the best pass rusher in the game, probably, as well as one of the best run stuffer combos in the game. And he comes stock with 93 strength, 97 awareness. He even gets 88 jumping. If you put him in the zone, he could probably jump something with 88 jumping and 6 for 4 frame. 97 impact blocking, which again will be a 98, maybe higher. And he gets a 98 hit power powered up and chemed up, guys. 
this card is absolutely unreal. Bradley Chubb's probably the best one in the promo. I'd I, I mean, I personally take Bradley Chubb. That's just me. Again, if your team can't afford it or you're, you know, you, you don't think your team built for that or you don't pass rush, you have everyone in zones off the line or you're waiting for LT, that's all fine. Just go take the highest guy, maybe sell him. But this is my list, guys. This is my top six. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Always like and comment. Let me know down below after hearing this. Who are you taking now? And if you need coins, head over to my coin bank down below and use code Poodle for 5% off. Make sure you're taking advantage of the super cheap prices. I'm out. Peace.